Hackintosh is a modified version of Apple's Mac OS that can run on non-Apple computers. However, unlike Windows and Linux-based operating systems, you can't install it on any random laptop. For smooth functioning, you'll need a device that is hardware that's compatible with it. For instance, if your laptop doesn't have the Wi-Fi card supported by the Hackintosh operating system, then there's a good chance that you shall experience Wi-Fi connectivity issues. Even the powerful dedicated GPUs from NVIDIA slash AMD doesn't work with the OS, so if you're getting a machine to primarily run Hackintosh, then avoid spending more on the chpu. Do you want to build a Hackintosh that can keep up with your multitasking requirements? In that case, you should check out the HP ProBook 450G6, which supports a build of Mac OS Catalina without any noticeable errors or dysfunctional components. Unlike the other laptops that we have covered here, this HP machine uses an Intel Core i5-8265U processor. Although it has a base clock speed of only 1.6 GHz, you can expect this quad-core CPU to perform way better than a 6th or 7th generation processor. The chipset also comes with turbo boost up to 3.9 GHz, which is an excellent thing from the performance point of view. Of course, you're left with integrated graphics. The 15.6-inch screen of the device is a major disappointment as it isn't close to the ones present on any Apple MacBook devices. However, due to the HD resolution of 1366 by 768 you may get some old MacBook Air vibes. Keeping that vibe alive, this HP device has a notable combination of bezels as well. Since it depends on the integrated graphics from Intel, you cannot expect crystal clear visuals either. If you want to build a Hackintosh spending less than $1,000, you should consider Asus and Book UX310 AWA as one of the best options. However, it's powered by an Intel Core i7-6500U, which can have a speed between 2.3 GHz and 3.2 GHz. It is also using Intel integrated graphics, which fortunately doesn't cause any problem with the Mac OS Catalina build you currently use. Another area of resemblance is memory and storage. The combination of 8GB DDR3 RAM and 256GB of SSD storage makes this device capable of handling the Mac OS system very well. Also, you don't have to replace the built-in SSD. You should keep in mind that the most compatible build for the device doesn't work dual boot with Windows and Mac OS. So, you will have enough free space, anyway. There isn't anything fancy in the display compartment, though. The 13.3-inch Full HD panel has the typical resolution of 1920 by 1080 which offers an excellent viewing experience overall. Because there is no touchscreen support or discrete graphics, the display does not cause any problems. Of course, this is a 2016 laptop, and you will surely notice the bulky bezels on four sides of the screen. Apart from working fine on Mac OS and Windows alike, the keyboard and trackpad do not offer anything so breathtaking. It's your regular backlit keyboard with a somewhat okay typing experience. We should also try to appreciate the huge enough trackpad, which supports native gestures as well. Last but not least, the keyboard and mouse give that classy look to this device. If you want to build a Hackintosh laptop without spending a lot on a flagship laptop, you should get an Asus Vivo Book S. This Vivo Book S is equipped with an Intel Core i7-8550U which has a base clock speed of 1.8 GHz. It can go up to 4.0 GHz, which is enough for intensive tasks as well. It comes with Intel HD graphics, which works fine on Mac OS Catalina. So, you don't have to make any changes before you set up this Hackintosh, making things simple for first-time users. When it comes to the display, Asus has included a standard 15.6-inch Full HD panel with the package. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and comes with thinner bezels, which improve the overall viewing experience. It should be noted that the Hackintosh build for this laptop supports Mac OS Catalina and that the display is super fine on that OS. Like other products from the Vivo Book lineup, this machine also comes with a standard keyboard. It has full backlit support and uses an ergonomic design. The fingerprint scanner support is a tricky affair, and you may have to forget that part on Mac. The touchpad, which offers a good experience, enables all the gestures you are familiar with on a Mac. Vivo. Book S is also an ultra-portable device, with a total weight of 3.7 pounds and a thickness of 0.7 inches. 
Still, Asus has packed multiple USB ports, an HDMI port, and a dedicated media card reader into the package. It's just amazing that all these I.O. ports work flawlessly on the Hackintosh Mac OS Catalina setup. You can also get the best out of the built-in audio system. Are you interested in building a Hackintosh that is truly lightweight and performance-friendly? In that case, it makes sense to check out the Acer Swift 5, which is a popular Ultrabook on its own. Like the other laptops we have covered so far, this one also uses the 7th generation Intel Core i7-8550U, which comes with a base clock speed of 1.8 GHz. If you use high-end apps on your Hackintosh, you can push it up to 4.0 GHz. Although, it's quite slower than the latest i7 processor generations, but it is capable to handle a lot of resource-intensive tasks such as photo editing, opening large Excel sheets, music production software, etc. You cannot expect a dedicated graphics card on such an ultra-thin laptop, but the Intel UHD graphics card does a decent job in the first place. One of the things that make Acer Swift 5 a capable Hackintosh is the whopping 16GB of LPDDR3 RAM. This means you can enjoy competitive multitasking without affecting battery life so much. Similarly, 512GB of full SSD storage puts you in a position of convenience. Even if you decide to dual boot Windows and Mac OS Mojave, you will still have a sufficient amount of space left. The 14-inch Full HD touchscreen display of the laptop brings something that an ordinary MacBook Pro or Air cannot give you, touchscreen support. Combined with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 this panel makes a nice companion for everyday users and professionals alike. The flexible nature and the relatively thinner bezels add charm to the portability aspect as well. Many people consider Dell XPS 15 9570 as a MacBook Pro killer, thanks to the heavy-duty performance and build quality. It is also an excellent choice if you want to create a reliable Hackintosh machine that offers best-in-class compatibility. Powering this flagship notebook is an Intel Core i7-8750H, which has a base clock speed of 2.2 GHz. So, even if you have plans to use FPC or Adobe Premiere Pro, you are good to go. The device packs an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050T, which comes with 4GB of VRAM. Doing justice to its flagship name tag, this Dell laptop packs 16GB of DDR4 RAM and 512GB of SSD storage. Almost double of the RAM found in the base MacBook Pro variants, it means that you can multitask with ease. In case of storage, though, you have enough space to store documents and media files even after a dual boot setup of Mac OS Catalina slash Big Sur. The laptop comes with a 15.6 inch 4K display panel, which comes with touchscreen support. The best part is that you can retain the touch input from this 3840 by 2160 display panel even on Mac OS Mojave. It means you can navigate around and interact with Mac OS elements using gestures on the touchscreen. So, you can say this is the unofficial touch-enabled MacBook Pro-ish laptop out there.